Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, October 20th, 2024 for our junior high students ages 12 to 14. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is coming out of Job chapter 42 verses 1 through 10. Our memory verse is Job chapter 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The title of our story, Double for the Trouble. Three months ago, when Floyd and Isaiah couldn't find a job, they opened an office cleaning business. They had already been cleaning their mother's office and thought it would be easy to add other businesses. At first, it was. The newspaper ran an article on them and they picked up three more clients but the boys were disappointed when more business didn't come so they sat their parents down to tell them they were closing the business tell me again why you're closing the business their father asked floyd answered because we're not making enough money what are you going to do with the clients you have i guess we'll send them to someone else so you're just going to give up but dad, we're not making any money. We did everything we knew to do. The boys' mother asked the next question. What exactly do you do? We got the newspaper article. We do a good job for the people who hire us. We post on Facebook and we tweet about our business. All those things are great and they're necessary. But did you ask God for a strategy? He's the one in control, not you. We've been praying and nothing has happened. Son, God's silence is good for you. Before their mother could finish her sentence, Floyd's phone rang. The family patiently waited until he finished the conversation. He yelled, thank you, God, when he hung up. Isaiah, we are still in business, bro. We just got the biggest contract of our life. That was pastor, and he called to see if we clean the church once a week. He's paying us twice as much as what all of our other clients pay put together. Our lesson scripture, Job chapter 42, verses 1 through 10. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou canst do everything, and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. And it was so, that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliaphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against thee, and against thy two friends, for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as my servant Job hath. Therefore take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering, and my servant Job shall pray for you. For him will I accept, lest I deal with you after your folly, and that ye have not spoken of me the thing which is right, like my servant Job. So Eliaphaz the Temanite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite went, and did according as the Lord commanded them. The Lord also accepted Job, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job, when he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Hope satisfies. In today's lesson, we will review Job's response after God chastises him for questioning his sufferings. Then Job humbled himself, realizing that God is great and it is a privilege to trust him with his life and future. Job learned that no place or situation lies beyond the sustaining presence of God. How to face and endure trials. Number one, refuse to run away, avoid or try to stop the trial. Do your best to know it is for your good, even though it doesn't feel like it. Number two, 
find scriptures for strength to endure trials. Add these to your repertoire. James chapter 1 verse 2, Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, and Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. Number 3. Pray. It is natural to not want to pray during a trial, but pray anyway. If you don't know what to pray, pray a psalm or proverb. Number four, praise. Your natural inclination will be to complain, whine, and cry, all of which we are fine, but won't move God to deliver you. There are scriptures that support the delivering power of praise. Number five, Trust God, no matter how long it takes for your situation to change. Trust God. You may falter a bit, but go right back to trusting His faithfulness. Dramatize today's lesson by turning it into a gospel stage play. If you have talents like acting or singing, feel free to use them as well. Keeping it real, who's in control? Suffering is neither fun nor easy, but it can be productive. Through the text, we learn that Job's faith was strengthened while he suffered and was rewarded when he humbled himself. God blessed him with twice as much as he had before. In Double for the Trouble, we find Floyd and Isaiah thinking about closing their business. But just before they did, they got a call that changed their minds. Next Steps for Application Facing trials is tough. It is then that we ask questions. If you're wondering if your suffering is a result of sin, then confess your sin and repent. If you think Satan is attacking you because of your faith, then pray for strength. If you're not sure if your suffering is preparation for something greater, then ask God and others to help you realize these chances to help others who may suffer in the same way. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.